obviously of course we have uh, an older firelight slash honeywell setup and it's actually almost 100 percent relevant because literally almost every single thing on this board is honeywell um except for this which is just a carbon monoxide thing but that can be considered a replacement or whatever so this is a firelight bg12 sl it's it's actually I believe my first pulse station, a, I recently fixed it because I completely destroyed it, um, but now it works again. I put in a new switch. It doesn't fit 100%. However, I put in a little bit of silicone and it fits perfectly-ish. Here we have a system sensor MASS um, multi-alert sounder strobe or mass. You can see it doesn't have a trim plate or anything. It's a frosted strobe uh, set on the standard tone i can't change the tone because if i did i would have to break off these little tabs and that would permanently change the tone so i'm just going to keep it original for now here we have a system sensor pa 400 r with the ps 24 lo mini strobe attachment on top it's um also on the same horn circuit as this uh, the strobe is the exact same except for the little cover has a different bit of a font but it's um a little interesting i guess here we have the Johnson Controls BG10. It's the same thing as a Firelight BG10, um, just as Johnson Controls. I have a couple other BG10s, but this one is the best one, in my opinion, because it pulls so much smoother. And also the little button inside, um, it it just, it's very clicky. It's not much of a push-in button, it's a clicky button, which I like. It makes a very crispy and smooth pull, um, if that makes any sense. Here we have a system sensor 2400, which is what you would see with masses. And then we also have a uh, system sensor smoke heat detector. It's like a 5806. I know that's a wireless one. I don't know. It's a Honeywell branded heat detector. It's um, it's not exactly uh, with this time and age, but technically it doesn't matter. This is also the key switch you would probably see with this kind of system because of how. Uh, old it is and this that and that can probably be considered as replacements so let's go ahead and pull the last thing i did forget to mention is that the system is going to start off on continuous because um that's usually what masses are set on masses are quite loud as you can tell since this is technically a two wire device it doesn't flash this um still flashes after the system has been silenced it flashes pretty slow it's not very bright as you can see i can look directly into it and it doesn't hurt my eyes at all like i mentioned that was a very crispy pull or smooth and crispy what the heck this key doesn't fit okay i gotta find a new key oh here it is but you can see it instead of the regular button it has this clicky button Another VG10 from my collection. It's just one of a bunch. And this is a really nice pull station, except for the fact that you can see it's a little different. First of all, it has no thing here. The ones I have, they this is the only one that has that, even though some of them are just have a piece of metal bent over there. And I just like this mechanism a lot better. It feels a lot more well built. Here we have this button, like I mentioned before. These most VG10s, they just have this kind of button. It doesn't make much noise it's very it doesn't feel very nice i'm just gonna be honest it's not very springy at all this is very springy i like it a lot and also it's just so you know versus i mean i just spent like two minutes talking about bg10 so i'm gonna move on Okay, as you can see that those two are pretty loud horn strobes, that is actually the most, um, it's not that, it's not that it's loud, it's just jarring, whereas that one, it's very piercing as well. Uh, here I have a PA400R, somebody, uh, sent it to me, I think it was like Thunderbolt 1003, but you can see these are the two, th these two are both the same thing, it's just that this one has the little mini strobe attachment, um, but yeah, so of course, this one resets like a regular BG-12. You can see it just doesn't have the little push mechanism that you just pull down. Um, but yeah, BG-12 SL. I do a system 
reset and change the tone to like code 3 or something because a lot of you like that way better than continuous. So I'm going to take this tiny screwdriver, it's good for testing smoke detectors, push it in. So that's that, and I don't really have a way of testing that uh, heat detector because I don't have a hair dryer on me at the moment. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the test switch. That's why I always put heat detectors here because it's convenient. Okay, that obviously works, so now we can go ahead and do a system reset. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time. Uh, oh. Yes, right, I forgot to do that. Okay, anyway, see you.